Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I feel very, very called for a very specific deck. So I'm going to be doing this oracle reading. In this one, you know, there is a long message here that is going to be shared. In this case, from the Sacred Rebels. If me reading the meaning of the card is not your thing, then there's tons of readings that you can check out. That's perfectly fine. But in these, in these readings, I actually find the messages to be even better somehow. So I would definitely encourage you to stick around. You may be surprised. You may receive something that proves to be very helpful. So yeah, having that said, welcome. <laughs> welcome to this space. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on this video out of all of the ones that you receive. I don't take it for granted. I'm very grateful. Alrighty, Spirit, please bring in the most relevant and important message that Pisces here needs to hear from this deck. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Restore and replenish. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have she feels, she knows. Beautiful. So this is the card that we're getting. I hope that you can see it there. It shows a woman in a fetal position surrounded by what seems like a mandala of um, kind of like, you know, shells and plants and beautiful... Even like buttons, keys. So let's see what this is about, okay? The card number is 38, so that could be relevant for some of you. The number 38, you may be 38, you may be turning 38 soon. You may be dealing with someone who's 38, but let's see. The reason why I like to read the messages this way sometimes it's because I want to honor the author and the message coming in through them that's why word by word I try to do my best to um, read these messages for you so what I am getting here with this card is that you're in need of something that's deeper than rest some of you are soul tired you need restoration replenishment revival and, you know, this will not necessarily come from lying about somewhere, taking a moment out of your day or, you know, activities. You're most likely to gain what you need by breaking with your routine completely and doing something different. You need some variety, Pepsis, some spice, some change to bring fresh energy into your body, mind and heart. You need to restore and revive yourself by changing the usual flow of energy that flows through you. You could stimulate this process by going to a different place, meeting different people, and taking different actions that you would usually do. You can return to your regular routine and time, you know, if it feels good for you. However, it is now time to move without push pushing yourself beyond what is known, comfortable, and familiar. This oracle also comes as a message from your greater loving guardian, which is life itself. You may have been working so hard and have accomplished so much already. However, you often sell your accomplishments short and focus on how much more is yet to be done. Oh my God, guilty of this. <laughs> Comment below if that is something that happens for you. It's like you set your goals, you reach your goal and then you're looking for the next thing and you almost forget to celebrate that goal. There's sometimes a lack of pause, right, to celebrate. So if that's you and I'm not alone, <laughs> comment in the comment section below. I would like to know. Life is telling you that it is time to put down the paintbrush, the pen, the endless lists, and the thinking mind and get into your body. Take the time to experience yourself and 
in and of nature, remember how to just be. In doing so, even for a relatively short amount of time, you will feel more of yourself and ready for the next phase. Sometimes we don't feel rested after resting because what we need is to actually, you know, it's not to replenish. I don't know how to say this. Like, it's not that you need to sleep. It's that you need to refresh your energy. You might be surprised what a day or two of this can do for you. Restoration does not have to be a long and involved process, especially if it is attended to when needed. This oracle is also a confirmation that you are in an important transition phase between one level of experience and the next. If you feel as though you are treading water or are in a sort of like purgatory somewhere between your old life and your new life, then this particularly applies to you. If you can't quite break into the never into the level that you're reaching for, have faith. You are just taking a breather between races. Soon you will have the power and the energy you need to reach for that next level and succeed. If you have been considering a new endeavor or have recently started one, then this oracle brings a message of encouragement. Yes, this is a good step forward for you. You might be worried that you're taking on too much. You are encouraged to take time out to rest and rebalance yourself. But you are supported in your need for new and different experiences to refresh your spirit. You may let some of these new endeavors go once you have gained what you need from them. However, they are useful now. You are encouraged to trust yourself and to know that you are working consciously to meet your own needs and this is healthy and good, Pisces. The Oracle of Restore and Replenish also comes with a guidance for your healing. If you have been under the weather, you will soon be well again. If you have been working on healing your body, mind, soul, this oracle comes with assurance that what you're doing is working and it's bringing you benefits. Even if you're yet to experience the full extent of that benefit, continue with your work and know that you're indeed healing. Okay, Pisces, so it's definitely not going to waste. For those of you who are um, wanting to turn this reading into a healing process, because you can, this is the healing process that is suggested for you. Imagine that you're floating in an ocean that has colors of turquoise to deep green and darkest, deepest blue. Notice what colors feel good to you. Enter and remain in that space for as long as you like. The water might be warm and sparkling, shallow and heated by the sun, or cool, deep and mysterious. It depends on you what you want to imagine, right? What feels good for you. Allow it to be whatever feels good. When you're ready, open your eyes and break the routine. You will have completed your healing process. So it's just a matter of, you know, maybe you can't take yourself physically on a vacation right now for whatever reason. Take a moment as a priority to imagine yourself in this body of water. Whether that is, you know, whatever body of water you wish you could go to. You know, maybe waterfalls, maybe rivers, the ocean, waves, the lake, whatever it is. Allow yourself to schedule some time or to really take the time right now to picture yourself there and recharge from that water, from that energy. Here I see shells and I see leaves. And for some reason, I'm getting a reference to coca leaves. So there could be like a sense of divination. Some of you could work as, you know, readers, astrologers, healers. Restore and replenish. It's particularly important for you. The other card that we have here is she feels, she knows. You know when you need it. Sometimes we feel depleted, not because we're not resting enough, 
but because we're not doing what we love enough. So ask yourself, you know, what is it that you need? You know, it's, it's very like counterintuitive sometimes. You may feel like, let's say that you have a very, very busy week and you have so many responsibilities and therefore the thought in your mind could be like, well, you know, I'm not going to go and drive a couple of hours to go to the lake or to go to wherever because that's going to make me more tired because of the drive, because of the energy, whatever. And you're going to need the energy for other things. Yeah, I understand that form of thinking. But when we do those kind of things, even though physically it could be demanding, it's like the soul gets recharged in such a way that the body sort of like fills the tank up with energy somehow. So don't be afraid to get out of the comfort zone in order to do something that is exciting and fun or beautiful because it will recharge you more than it will tire you, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm getting, Pisces. I'm getting called here to pull one card from this deck, the Spirit Animal Oracle. I'm going to try my best um, with the readings, we got the wolf here, um, to find the decks and place them in the description box below. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, sometimes I will find the decks, sometimes I will not. So, you know, if there's a deck that particularly appeals to you, just check out the description. It may be right there for you to purchase. All right, my loves. Let's see. We got the Moth Spirit. Surrender now. Oh my goodness, that's so fitting. Card number 39. Oh, wow. Look at this. Card number 39. And from this other deck, the card is 38. What are the fucking odds? Two completely different decks. If you are currently 38 going into 39, this reading is for you. 100%. Okay? So let's see what this message is all about. Moth spirit, surrender now. Moth spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or addiction? Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? If you get some, if you hear some noises, Chai, my cat, is very close eating, so you may hear him kind of like chewing on his food. He will be done soon. He just takes his sweet ass time with every single little pebble of, of food. Anyway, hard work and dedication are virtues. Virtues. Virtues? And love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when moth spirit appears, it is time to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certain or even to a person. Addiction to certainty or even to a person may be your current advice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it into more than one direction. The fire burns hot, and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all the other pursuits that matter to you. Oh my god, if this is resonating with you, you have to check out the August reading for Pisces about the month ahead. This is so relevant. It is in the channel already, I believe. So please go ahead and check it out. You won't regret it. Moth spirit can be intense and honesty about your own compulsive tendencies is needed right now. Now is the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or to fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. 
banish the shoulds and must so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. It is too easy to switch from one addiction to another, distracting yourself from the discomfort of uncertainty and the thoughts and emotions that arise when you aren't single-mindedly pursuing a goal. Moth spirit calls you to practice moderation in all things and recognize when think recognize when think you are headed towards the light but are not really heading but you are really heading into a fire that could cause burnout. I also have a free class on healing from business burnout. You can check it out below somewhere. Why are you so resistant to letting up? Could you be avoiding difficult emotions you need to feel and release? Now is the time to do fearless inventory so that your addictive tendencies can be toned down and rechanneled into enthusiastic activity in moderation. You're not a machine. <laughs> Listen to Moth Spirit's message that a change is needed to support your well-being. Maybe deep down, you know you have become too attached to something and someone. Let go of your need to control the outcome and allow yourself to remember the many ways you want to channel your energy to you know, relationships, to work, giving to others, self-care, and to all other pursuits you value. Is that it? That's it. Huh. So, yeah. I mean, come on. Restore and replenish. Surrender now. Avoid burnout. Why is it that our society is so, so obsessed with productivity? And I ask you this, and I'm completely guilty of it. Completely. It's like we've been conditioned to believe that the more productive we are, that the more tasks we complete on a day, that means that we are somehow more worthy or doing good or... I don't know, man. Comment below if this perspective sort of like traps you sometimes. Because here, you're being asked to restore and replenish not only by resting and sleeping but also by channeling your energy a little bit more wisely and by not letting yourself burn out. And this message is particularly, particularly for you if you're 38 going on 39, okay? I mean, if you're 38, you're inevitably going to 39. <laughs> but you know what I mean. All right. I love you so much, Pisces. I hope that this reading helped. Let me know in the comment section below if it did. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you so much. I hope you know that. I love you to the moon and back. And I will see you in the next one, my loves. Bye.